What's going on, fellas? My name is Hal Limenea, aka Cashflow Entrepreneur, and today we're gonna go we're gonna go over on how to create an ad from zero, and this includes um how to create the Facebook page, how to do everything, create the ad, and essentially the headlines. So I'm gonna be giving I'm gonna be giving one of the most useful and most important tips that I've ever gave on creating headlines. So you wanna stay tuned until the end to take advantage of that. Um, so let's get going guys all right so obviously what you're gonna want to do is go to your Facebook account and click here and let's see, create pages and create a page so click and create a page um, for the sake of this video, we are going to be creating a brand or product page. You guys could use a local business or place if you're going to be running ads for a local business. If it's for your company, organization, or, or institution, this would include like your social media marketing agency. And this basically pretty much explains itself and so forth. Anyways, so let's get going. Brand or product. We're going to name our page pets no pet petsy things petsy things i just literally came up with this name i know it's a pretty bad name but anyways this doesn't really matter obviously if you're going to take a, a, page, a fan page seriously or a brand or product page seriously you have to you know at least create a, a nicer name than this right <laughs> so get started Oh, actually, I have to choose a category. All right, choose a category. Um, we are going to let's see, brand appliance at P. Let me see if we get health and beauty, household, pet supplies. Right, this is going to be pet supplies. Get started, and just wait until it until it loads. All right, so. We're gonna skip this thing. We're gonna skip the adding a profile picture. And we're going to skip adding a cover photo. So anyways, after you guys um, create the fan page, just like I thought you, um, you're going to be sent to something that pretty much looks like this. It's gonna give you like a little um, walkthrough of the things that you can do with it. Um, and right here, it gives you all the page steps. So you can create, it tells you how to create the username, um, how to send people to your website, adding your website, creating a group for your page and so forth and so on. So if you guys are going to create a page, I really recommend you guys to um, make a nice cover and a nice um, profile picture, um, a nice profile picture from uh, in, in Canva. It's a really good website in creating um, cover pictures and, and a lot of different things. So you guys might want to take advantage of that. Um, anyways, the second thing we're going to want to do is after we have all of this set up, we want to go to um, create ads. And if you don't have an ad account, um, created is basically going to walk you through how to create your ad account and name your ad account and so forth and so on. Um, I'm just trying to keep this video very, very short because um, people don't really like long videos. So let's just go over marketing objectives. Marketing objectives, awareness is literally just, it says it right there, it's um, reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it. Um, usually you don't get good engagement from, war aware, um, from brand awareness, sorry. And the reach is basically showing your ad to the maximum number of people. This one doesn't really give you um, much um, engagement or, or leads or, or things like that it all depends on on how you're gonna create your ad so the one I use the most is traffic conversion catalog sale and this is more for um I a, a, another um this is this is not for beginners this is more for you know more experienced people I also use a lot of engagement lead, um, and lead generation messages and video views so traffic is literally when you want to send um, people from your ad to your website or another destination that's um, that's not Facebook. 
engagement is basically kind of like brand awareness, but Facebook, um, fa uh, but Facebook kind of makes the ad, um, it makes it makes the ad like kind of look better, I think. So so you could get like more engage more engagement per your post. It just optimizes it optimizes it, it is the word actually to so optimize the ad for engagement and and this literally it's what brings you either um page likes <coughs> sorry page likes post on um, reactions and um page like post reactions page uh, um post some um, shares and so forth and so on <coughs> sorry guys um, as you can tell, I really have a bad flu right now. Uh, anyways, video views. Video views is um, basically to to get the, uh, views for your video. Um, lead generation. It's kind of like an opt-in page for within Facebook. So whatever, if you could you could set it up that way you want it. You could set it up that people could um, enter the name and email name and phone number and 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 much more options so it's kind of like a like a like an opt-in page within facebook itself and messages is basically when you optimize the ad so people could send you messages and i really use this one a lot because those messages when people send me messages i convert those people into leads so for the sake of this video ah uh, and actually and conversions is when you want to um, drive valuable actions on your website or app, and that means that when you want to set up your your Facebook ad for people to buy your product on Shopify or Amazon or whatever it is that you're wherever it is that you're selling, this is basically what it means to um, get people to buy your product or whatever it is that you're selling. All right, so for the sake for the sake of this video. We are going to be creating a an engagement video. I mean an engagement um ad. And we're going to name it pet engagement number one. Number one ad. So and we're gonna optimize it for post engagement. And what this means is that we're going to get charged at once anybody um basically engage with uh, with our ad so if they view the photo we're gonna get charged for that if they um, react to the photo and share the photo or whatever it is the video we are going to get charged for that and you could and you could actually instead of paying for that you could just pay for page likes or event re responses and as you can see right here if you have two different audiences what this means is that instead of creating two different ads going to um, uh, power editor and instead of duplicating an ad just to create a different audience and to test a different audience you can just create um test it within the same um <clears throat> within the same campaign and but the only downside of this is that sometimes well most of the times facebook will in will spend um, um the majority of the budget in one ad set than than the other all right, an ad set is basically, well, I'm gonna teach you guys right now. All right, so continue. This is an ad set. An ad set is basically where you tell Facebook who your campaign is, who your, um, well, I don't, hold on, hold on. All right, I clicked it, this is a problem. So don't click that unless you wanna test um, your audience. So anyways, this is the ad set <clears throat> where, you tell Facebook who you want to target, who is um, most likely to buy or engage with um, your with um, your product, and this is basically when you tell placements is where you tell Facebook, all right, so I want you to show my ads on let's say feeds, so you unclick these boxes, uncheck these boxes, and let's say feeds on Instagram, and if you want. I don't really use this one in stream videos. So, and this is if you could, and uh, this is a new thing. So if you want to show your ad within um, Facebook um, Messenger, you could also use this one.
it's even though it's not available right now for that this works for messages for um download apps and so forth and so on anyways this is where you tell facebook where you want the ads to show and for this video we're only going to um tell facebook to show it on feeds on facebook feeds and instagram feeds right all right so we're gonna go back here um we are going to let uh we're going to since we're going to be since we're going to be promoting a product that's sold online from a Shopify store, we're going to target tier one countries. Um, and so it's um, Canada. Oh shit, I brought it wrong. So Canada, Australia. <coughs> Sorry. New Zealand, and the United and the UK. So these are five tier one countries. There, I think, is a couple of more tier one countries, but these are the main ones. And for the sake of this video, we are going to be promoting um dog seat belts so right here where it says detail targeting well right here is <clears throat> the age of the people that you want to target so let's say you want to target people who are 22 to let's say 40 just to test out or let's say 45 the most just to test it out and let's say 20, 20. And let's say for this ad, you are going to target women because um, actually I have a friend that has a pet store and he tells me, and he told me that women are the ones that buy the most um, for this type of product, right? They're, I guess, a little bit more sentimental, sentimental than us men. So for this ad, for this, um video we are going to be targeting women only because um as i said he told me that and and he makes a ton of sales from from his um pet store and that's not to say that me that man doesn't doesn't buy it and um, anyways i mean if you want you can target all of them let's just target all of them and then and then you can optimize the ad further on since this is the first ad so i'm sorry about that so let's just target all of them. And then if you see that men or women are, are converting more, then for the next ad, then you could just um, optimize it for whatever is the cheapest and gets you the, more, the most sales. So languages, let's, I always put English all. For demographics, detailed targeting is basically where you tell Facebook, hey, Facebook, I want you to target um, people that have so such and such characteristics so for example uh, facebook hey i want you to target dog, dog owners all right and that's a behavior so all right dog owners facebook i want you to target people that um are interested in purchasing online let's see if this is available I while i was um taking this video sorry i really apologize for that um anyways let's just, let's just get back to where we, we left um off so we're right here um adding to the detail targeting part so we said that we would target we said that we would tell facebook to target um dog owners we would also tell facebook to target people that are um interested in dogs and this means that if they targeted um if they um if if they basically liked a picture from a page so basically if they interacted with a page that was about dogs and or that show items about dogs and so forth and so on so we're gonna target this um interest right here but now where it really gets fun is where we tell facebook now after all right and also before i before i even go move on um you could you could also click um suggestions so facebook could basically tell you hey this is what people are interested on so pets i love dogs 11 million
all right and also if you guys want you guys um could also add uh well you guys could also tell, tell facebook all right facebook so out of all these people, they must also match another one of the following. So for example, shopping. for example, let's see, just move, move this a little bit down. Oh, doesn't even let me um, move this a little bit to the left. All right, so let's see, online shopping. People who have expressed or entered actually I would include this right here online shopping which is people who have expressed an, an interest and or like pages related to online shopping and then right here I will tell Facebook hey so out of all these people I want you to show my ads to people who are interested in pet products and People who are interested in pet products and people in households that buy items for their pets like um, collars, lashes, food, medicine, bowls, etc. So pet products. And this is a perfect, perfect um, potential reach for a product like this. 22 million. Um, it's a perfect reach. So I'll just keep it simple like that and just play with it. And then um, wait and see what happens. So test the audience. I spent interest when it might increase posing and lower cost. Um, I usually leave that on box. Um, on yeah, on box. All right. So connections. Add to add a connect add a connection type, and basically that means um, if you don't want to include, uh, if you want to exclude people. Who already like your um, page um, just so you can get more likes and things like that. Um, people who like your page so you could get so you can show your ads to people that don't know about your page or have have not clicked the like button on your page and thus um, bringing more more like more likes to your pages or to your page actually. And um, you can also target friends of people who like your page but I don't really do this one anyways if you guys want you guys could save this audience so if it works you guys can use it um, later on so for daily budget I will start with ten dollars and see how that plays out um, schedule um, optimization for ad delivery post engagement I'll leave this an automatic unless you know what you're doing so um, if if you guys know how to play with the um, manual and so forth um, by any means go ahead so for this video we're gonna leave it an automatic and then we're going to continue now this is where it really gets fun and this is where I'm going to mention mention um, um, this is where I'm gonna mention um, the headline tips <clears throat> so page I'm going to Okay, that's it, thanks. So, all right. So for this one, you could either use an existing post, which is actually what I do. So instead of creating the new ad, which is what I'm gonna do in this video, just to make it shorter for you guys, um, um, you guys could, always, could use uh, um, existing post and that works better. So basically you post, um, basically instead of creating the ad with a single image, and with the text and so forth, you basically post it that way as a normal post. And then you just select it here and then you just click um, confirm and you're good to go. But for this video, we're gonna we're going to use create a new ad. Even though I shouldn't, but it's just to make it shorter for you guys. So I'm gonna upload my image. And this video we're gonna be promoting, as I said. Um, a dog um, seatbelt right here. Dog seatbelt right there, and I actually got this picture from my friend. He told me to use it right here. And um, well, this is where it really gets fun, and this is one of the the most important things about this video. 
and I actually wrote it down to tell you guys word for word how this um, plays out, all right? So when you're creating your headline, you have to know or basically you have to do it based on this, all right? So look, it. there are eight primary desires common to everyone and these are called the life force eight, right? These desires are responsible for more sales than any other human want. Guys, and I'm getting this information from a legit source, which, which I'm going to sh uh, share with you guys later towards the end of the video. All right. And these are the eight um, primary desires that everyone has. First, for the first one is survival, enjoyment of life and life extension. The second one is enjoyment of food and beverage. The third one is freedom from fear, pain and danger. And by the way, fear sells. So if you know how to use it, if you can use it ethically, then you could get a lot of sales by just um by 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 just putting fear out there in, in your ad and doing it smart, right? So freedom from fear, um, pain and danger. Fourth one is sexual companionship. Fifth one is to be superior, winning, and keeping up with the Jonases. Who doesn't want to feel superior who doesn't want to be winning you know so the sixth one is the care and protection of loved one of loved one of course we all care for our loved one and then that's we can't even question that one this the um the sixth one hold on so one two three four five six the sixth one is care and protection of loved one as i said eighth one uh seventh one is social approval and the eighth, I'm missing the eighth one. Let me see. Um, and all right, can't present a lot one to be spirit winning. Com all right, so the eighth, um, the eighth one is comfortable living conditions. That's one. That that's the one that I miss. So who doesn't want to be comfortable? Who doesn't want to live in in comfortable conditions? Right? We all do. So before I go on with this ad, I just want to give you three examples in which you can um, apply these um, desires, right? For example, let's say car dealerships. If you was selling a, let's say if you was to promote an SUV. So this is one of the things that I use um, for as a headline for an SUV that we were selling and it actually sold within two weeks after we promoted it. All right. So <clears throat> listen, guys. All right. Do you want to drive this nice SUV while not having to worry about getting stuck in the snow like others as you're driving this beauty by them like a boss? All right, let me read that again. Do you want to drive this nice SUV while not having to worry about getting stuck in the snow like others will as you're driving this beauty by them like a boss? So this one actually goes over life force number six and number one, which is um key uh which is um let me see um number one is survival enjoyment of life and um also to be superior and to be superior winning and keeping up with the jonases all right so the second example is let's say if you was selling if you had a shopify store and you was selling um um wooden watches so this one says Help save planet Earth and support the non-toxic the non-toxic ways by wearing wooden watches. They're made with um, recycled fine wood. And this one actually goes over life force one and three, which is survival, enjoyment of life, and life extension, and um, freedom from pain, from fear, pain, and danger. All right. And now for this one, this is where we're gonna include it here. And I'm going to be writing, typing it as I say it. So thousands of, wait, did I write that? Did I write that wrong? Oh my God. Don't tell me I wrote that wrong. <laughs> it's all right, guys. Hold on. You just make sure. Because you want to make sure you type everything. Correctly. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't it tell me I was writing it wrong? I was writing it right. So thousands of dogs die each year in car accidents. Put an exclamation point there. To help keep your dog safe, 
we are giving away for a limited you want to emphasize that this is for limited time so people join um so people kind of you know if they're going to purchase purchase faster instead of just living it for next week and so, and so forth for a limited limited time our best selling premium premium dog seatbelt and then obviously you want to put your link in there and so forth and so on but this is really what it and and put some emojis all right so see emoji pedia put Pico said put a red car an oncoming automobile I'll put it right here I'll, let me see how a dog dog face a cute little dog face and stick it in the ad and the, and the thing somewhere. A dog seatbelt. And then you're gonna obviously um, put your link in there. So check it out. Right here or, or learn more and so forth and so on. And if you want, you can also put a call to action and which could be learn more if you are giving away a PDF file or if you are offering other type of services. So you could also optimize it for people to send you a message and for people to shop now, which is what we want. Right here, you would um, actually enter the website that you want to send people to. So right here, let's say to a YouTube channel. That's actually one of my YouTube videos. And then you have to literally just um, click confirm um and then your ad will go through by the way if this is your first time creating an ad if um if you never created an ad you never messed with ads before um you have to add, you have to add a form of payment because otherwise your ad will not run until you add the the billing part of the ad so you're just gonna leave this page since I already taught you guys what I wanted to teach you. And then this is obviously not the one that I use for, for my clients. This is just my personal one. And then um, so go to payment settings and right there. Ooh, and right there, this is basically where you're going to add your payment method. So if you guys are new into to Facebook ad and this is your first Facebook ad, you guys want to definitely, definitely do this before you even create the ad. All right. And um, guys, so if you guys are more into social media, I mean, into um, Shopify, selling into Shopify and things like that and don't know where to start, um, a friend of mine has a Facebook group for completely free. Well, he would be showing you guys how to create a store and get it from zero to 100K within 30 days. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, I will leave, um, I will leave his um, personal Facebook link and the group link down in the description. Um, so you guys can ask him any type of question. I'm sure that as soon as he gets some time, um, he will um, answer to you guys. His name is Armando Tovar. And um, if you guys want to also join another group that has any people making anywhere from zero to a million dollars per year on revenue, um, I'm going to leave you guys the link down in the description so you guys can join um, millionaire underscore entrepreneurship. And that's the group I was talking about. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button and that like button. And let me know what you think about this video. 